Well, you know, one of the things that we all we want to do in Jiu-Jitsu is get better so we can enjoy the journey be a, a, a lot better, right? If we're better, if we know what we're doing, if we le feel less uncertain about what we're doing, then we're, it's going to show in the mat. So I, I would say to anybody who's at a point where they feel they're, in a, they're stuck in something, it's the time that you give is what you're going to give back, you know? Being on the mat, asking the questions, even after you get tapped out, asking people, how did you do that? Can you please let me know how you do that and maybe start up the role from there, you know, so you can learn how to get out, right? Not run away from the problem, but stay and focus on what's the problem. I like jiu-jitsu because it gives me that. It's quick problem solving, right? I'm always giving you A or B, A or B. And if you do that, I'm going to choose A or B, A or B. So it's a situation where I'm always making decisions. Are they always the correct ones? No, but I'm getting better in my decision making and that allows me to remember things from the past where maybe I got caught somewhere. So if you're serious about Jiu Jitsu, if you, if you feel this is going to be a part of your life, even if you're not going to compete, but if you feel this is something that can get you to a spiritual place where you feel better about yourself, then I would say dedicate the time that, that it needs. You know, it's only going to be as good as you want it to be. And I realized that when I was a white belt and somebody told me, there's no replacement for the math time that you're gonna put in there. You can have the shiniest belt, the best looking gi, but your jiu jitsu is always gonna show. So I took that too hard and you know, I'm, I always take pride in always staying back and asking questions or working with people who need it. So there's people out there for you, just gotta find them and, and reach out. We learned that uh, jiu jitsu is hard and it takes a lot to get good at this thing, but also learned that Hawaii is coming out full force. We're all training together, kind of having that modern new way of thinking where we all help each other, no matter what team, no matter what flag we, we fly at the end of the day, we're all family, we're all Ohana. So super grateful to all these guys coming out, helping us get better and taking on the world. Everybody's energy level goes a little up. Um, you get input from guys who roll different techniques than us and they say, well, you know, we might be able to improve it this way or this is how we do it and vice versa. So it's, it's just the exchange of information and um, camaraderie is pretty great. Uh, we did a uh, omoplata attack from a De La Hiva pass. So really good. And we also changed it with a triangle. So. <laughs> Winner doesn't make a ticket. And then, uh, not loser, but the person who's less successful, they have to go back in line. And the idea is like, who can stay in the longest, right? Who's king of the hill? So um, it tends to be really difficult when we when we do that. It's when we have a lot of guys. And the increase in talent and technical ability is kind of skyrockets. So. It can be very challenging, but you got to take it with a grain of salt, knowing that maybe set little goals for yourself, right? Don't get swept in two seconds like I did. Try to last at least you know, a while. Give yourself an opportunity to attack so, or defend.